Hey guys, today we're going to ask the question, can you plug a bass guitar into a guitar amplifier? And if you can, what should you be looking for and what are the repercussions? So the first thing I want to talk about is this is a real common question with not only beginners, but guitar players that are like, hey, I'd like to get a bass and maybe practice it, especially if you're going to do some recording. Not only can you direct record with it very easily, but you know, you have to practice and you maybe want to hear yourself. Do you need to buy a bass amplifier? The answer is no, but I want to go over a couple of things that are going to be important. And for today, we're gonna to use two bases, a passive, which is this micro scale Ibanez bass, that is short scale, which is a perfect bass if you're uh, looking to get a bass for a guitar player and uh, you know you don't wanna worry about stretching your hands and getting used to the bass guitar. This is something fun for travel, it's great. I love this bass, uh, but we'll also use an active bass. Now, this is the uh, same version of the bass, but obviously, uh, full scale. This bass actually is really cool because it's an old uh, 80s era uh, sound gear bass by Ibanez. This one, it was owned by Jennifer Batten. I bought it from her. Uh, and uh, what I love about it is she left on the ladybugs that she had when she owned it. Uh, very cool bass. If you're fans of Jennifer Batten, I'm a huge fan, especially, you know, some of you guys will remember for her from when she played with Michael Jackson, but just a tremendous guitar player. So I have this bass that was hers. Okay, so today we're going to demo two things. I'm going to plug into a modeling amplifier. We have a Champion 40 by Fender. This is a typical modeling type amplifier that a lot of you will have. This would be the equivalent to if you have the Line 6 or the Code by Marshall, any of the, uh, the Katana 50, any modeling amp will do. First thing I want you to know about guitar amps and bass amps is that they're not different in the construction. They have different specifications for EQ, but an amplifier is an amplifier, whether it's a home stereo amplifier, a guitar amplifier, a bass amplifier, a PA system, uh, it, it is the same. So don't worry about that. You can't damage a guitar amplifier by plugging a bass in it, especially a passive bass. We'll do a disclaimer for active in a second. So what are the concerns about plugging your bass into a guitar amplifier? Well, the guitar speaker. Guitar speakers are thinner by nature and they have a much shorter recoil and they can be blown very easy. Now, that said, I will tell you this. You could plug in an eight string guitar right now into this Champion 40, turn tune down to the lowest tuning you can think of and hit it as hard as you can. You're not gonna blow that speaker. So keep in mind the bass is also not gonna pretty much blow that speaker. Now I say pretty much because there's always gotta be a disclaimer, especially on the internet. Now at low volumes, you're fine. Just plug the bass in. This bass is plugged into the Champion 40 on the clean sound and it has um, no effects on it. And it's fine. I'm using a shotgun mic because I want you to hear exactly what I'm hearing. Uh, we're gonna turn the amp up. This is the amp on almost five, in between four and five. And now two things are happening. One, this is much louder than somebody would actually practice at, I think. Maybe some of you guys are rock stars in your bedroom, I don't know. But uh, this uh, is also where the speaker is gonna give up. Right. So the speakers, once you hear that sound, and that's what I wanted to show you, that sound is the sound that maybe should knock it off. That rattling. Now, a lot of that rattling is actually the amplifier rattling, but uh, the, plan, the, um, the sound becomes unpleasant and uh, it's obviously should back off. So go ahead and you're safe to plug your bass guitar into uh, your guitar amplifier. But before we go on, what about active? And if you don't know what active is, especially if you're new to bass, active means that there's a battery in your bass. So that's the first, that's the first thing that's gonna give it away is the battery. The second thing, of course, is that you have all these extra knobs, uh, EQ controls, so to speak, bass and treble. Now be aware of two things. Uh, a lot of bass amps, almost all of them, have a pad or a way to reduce the input signal. And that is important on an active bass you're gonna need that, your guitar amp won't have it. So you're going to have to go ahead, let's go ahead and plug this in, and use the volume on the bass. This is gonna be super important for active bass. In other words, you're gonna to have to reduce the volume on the bass, you cannot be full blast. So 
So you can play whatever you want, but I will show you this and I'm gonna show you on my Princeton as well. My Princeton is all tube amplifier. Let's say you have that, but I wanna show you the uh, trick I've been using for years. And this is important because I am a bass player. Anybody that's watched the channel for any length of time knows that I'm actually a bass player. I play bass, uh, especially if I'm playing in bands and stuff, but I love guitar and uh, I like to play rhythm guitar as well, but I'm definitely, definitely my instrument, main instrument is in bass. In fact, I spent most of my life playing bass. Um, I mostly pay, play my bass at home through my guitar amplifiers. There are bass players throughout history who have actually run their bass through guitar rigs. But again, we want to talk about some of the dangers, uh, which is blowing speakers. And one of the ways I've learned to really reduce that risk is a good compressor pedal. Now I'm using a Boss compressor because I think most of you have access to a Boss compressor. If not, any guitar compressor will do. You don't have to buy a special bass one. I don't. Go ahead and use this uh, compressor. And what you'll know is, or what you'll learn is exactly what I said. Now you can use the level control of this pedal to help pad that guitar uh, amp so you're not running too much signal into it. But also the compressor adds all that warmth and sustain, right? So. plug into the Princeton. Now I'm going to start with the Princeton and the first thing I want to show you if you're using a Fender tube amp or any kind of tube amp that has, let's move this bass, impromptu videos. If you're using a tube amplifier, uh, especially any kind of older type amplifier and you have two inputs, keep in mind the second input is the one you're going to want to use your bass into. Uh, like we talked about padding uh, the bass down, that will help do that. It will reduce that, reduce the decibels by about 10 dBs. <laughs> And again, now the only thing we're worried about is more importantly is that speaker, which we're going to use our ear. You can definitely tell when a speaker is being damaged uh, because unlike uh, guitar playing where it distorts and it's good, in this case, we do not want it to distort. Distorting means the speaker is being overloaded with low frequencies and it would damage the uh, speaker. So I think that's about safe volume for this amp. I think that feels good. Run that compressor again. And if you're using a passive bass, I still would use this padded input, but you don't have to. Again, just keep in control of the speaker, use the compressor. So the answer to the question, can I run a bass guitar through a guitar amplifier? You can. And the other question is, well, can you run a guitar head? You know, if the amplifier is separate and use a bass cabinet, you can. The question of the day is, can you use a guitar cabinet or can you use a guitar amplifier for bass? You can, but you have to be very aware of the speaker. Now, if you're concerned about this, you understand that you're always taking the risk that you could blow the speaker. That is the worst and pretty much the worst outcome you're gonna come across is the blown speaker. But uh, it's been done for many years. Obviously, if you have selection greenbacks or low wattage speakers for guitar, those are even more at risk of low frequency and being damaged from that low frequency because there's another damage besides just blowing the speaker. You could actually damage the speaker in the way it sounds. So you want to be aware of that. General thumb is don't run a guitar amplifier uh, if you're you know if you're going to run a bass. Uh, but for gigging, although it can be done, I don't recommend it 100. <laughs> percent <laughs> so I haven't done it, so I, I hate recommending anything I've done. But practicing at home, I've, I've had no bad experiences running a guitar amplifier real quick for a bass, as long as you keep everything under control. But this is a great forum in which we can communicate. So please put in the comments down below, have you used guitar amplifiers for gigs? Have you had a bad experience? Have you ever plugged into a guitar amplifier and had it explode just because you used a bass for one second? Tell us those stories, good or bad. Uh, usually general consensus is if there's uh, you know 500 comments and the majority of them are one way or the other, that leans you to lends you to believe, you know, the accuracy of, of the majority. Um, so go ahead and give that a try, but I'm going to go ahead and go on the record of saying I'm okay with running a bass through guitar amplifiers at low volume and practice, especially using some kind of compression to uh, even that low frequency out and keeping it under control. 
So hopefully that'll give you some insight into whether or not you can use a guitar amplifier for a bass. Obviously, like I said, all this is uh, done with caution. You can do it. You're always taking the risk of blowing your speaker. And uh, But I haven't done it in all the years I've been playing through the guitar amps. Uh, and um, so I think if you take some cautionary steps, you will be in a safe bet as well. And uh, on that note, as always, I would like to thank you for your time. And until next time, know your gear. Yeah. 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 Ye